Hi there! In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make a moving part in Roblox. Here in my workspace, I've added a part. Just make sure your part is anchored. Now select your part and go to your Properties window. Look for the Position property. Next, we're going to select Move to move the part. Now if I drag the red arrow across, pay attention to the Position property here. You're going to see that the X component is going to change as I drag the uh, red arrow across, right? So if you look at the view selector up here, you can see that X is the, the red arrow. Now I'm going to, next I'm going to drag the blue arrow up and down, forward and back. You can see the Z component is changing. So I don't know if you can read it up here in the view selector, but Z is the blue the, the blue color. And the, the green color should be the Y component. So look at the, the Y component in the position right now, it's four. As I drag it up and down, that number is gonna change. The position property is a vector three. It consists of three components, the X value, the Y value, and the Z value. And together they determine the location of the part or an object in the 3D world. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to make this part move using script. To start, let's go to our part, click on the plus sign and add a script. In your script, just put in the following lines. The first line here, we're declaring our part. And we're going to wait for 10 seconds before we start our for loop. Our for loop is going to go from 1 to 50, and for each iteration, we're going to add a vector 3 to our part's position. Basically, what this is going to do is, for each iteration of the for loop, it's going to go to our part's position property, and it's going to add 1 to our x component. And each time, we're going to wait for 0.1 of a second. So it's going to do this for 50 times. Once it's done, we're going to come back. So I'm going to copy this and I'll go down here. I'm going to paste it down here. We're just going to wait for three seconds here. And then we start to come back. To come back, we're just going to go in the opposite direction. So we're going to go by negative one of a vector three. Let's now play and take a look. So here we are inside the game and we're going to wait for this part to move. It's going to move 50 times, 50 steps, and then it's going to pause, and then it's going to come back. And there it is. Everyone, that's how you make a moving part in Roblox.